Today we're going to be talking about spiritual resiliency. Spiritual resiliency looks different for everyone. It's the idea of what gives your life purpose, meaning. What holds you through life's difficult times. My name is Chaplain Lance Schrader, and the stories you're about to hear are real American airmen, men and women who have answered their nation's call. Today they're going to share their life with you about some difficult times they went through and what saw them through. It may be different for you than it is for them, different for me, but we all need something that we can hold on to, something that brings meaning and purpose to our life. Lou Holtz once said, it's not the load that breaks you, it's the way you carry it. As you watch and listen to these stories, put yourself in their shoes. What do you have to hold on to when life gets difficult, when the storms are blowing? What holds you secure? What gets you through those dark times when it looks like nothing else will? My name's Senior Airman Russell Jamison. When I was 15 years old, I, uh, I was raised in a, in a home where I had an alcoholic stepmother for nine years. And uh, I didn't really have much escape growing up. Um, I couldn't play sports. So I reached out and bought a guitar. And I played my heart out every single night. And it became the biggest event that I, that I could have asked for. I've been through a lot these past few years, but girl, so have you. A lot of a lot of maintainers use different outlets, um, alcohol and bars, um, and I've gone down that road, and I just found it not even a portion of fulfilling as being able to go home and just pour my heart out into a guitar and just play and forget about the entire world. I mean, no matter how stressful of the day I have, it's never too stressful to pick up a guitar and enjoy myself. It helps me to, to release emotions that I otherwise wouldn't be able to, and it brings me back to my center. It brings me back to who I am, the raw me, and, um, and it brings me back to my inner peace. Just keep your head up in hard times. Um, no matter how hard life gets, um, there's always a, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, there's always a means of, of releasing frustration. And, uh, there's healthy ways to do it. My name is Staff Sergeant Szymanski. I've been through a couple of deployments. I did not know anything about being a combat medic. I've never been outside the wire. All I've known is ER duties and working from Women's Health Clinic. We had this one mission where we lost a couple of soldiers. That was a little bit hard. I just got into thinking that, what if that was me? Now, my boyfriend at that time, he was actually deployed a few times in Iraq and in Afghanistan. He was telling me that there are so many people out there that's going to need my help, and there are so many of them that you're not going to be able to save because there's only one you. He told me not to put it on myself. He said I did what I could and that they'll be in better hands. And he just kept talking to me about the whole experience, told me not to keep it all to myself, and that talking to talking about the whole situation will actually make everything better, and it actually did. I'm Gordon Carpenter. When I was uh, 20 years old, I joined the military in uh, January 98, went to tech school, and our tech school is so long that they're in the second part of our tech school, you can, your wife or spouse can move down. In that process, my wife was killed in a car accident. Thank goodness my daughter was not in there. We had a, a year, year and a half old daughter at the time. My faith was questioned. I wasn't the same person. I wasn't as outgoing. I was angry all the time, uh, mean to my classmates, horrible. It was probably about uh, four years later and something just hit me. It was uh, a sermon at the church and found, refound my faith and came home. I met my current wife like that next day. From that point on, it's just been a, a blessing. As soon as I did that, my military career skyrocketed. And no matter what your spiritual faith is, no matter what your beliefs are, just know that there are people that have been through the same, maybe not the same circumstances, but find someone to talk to. Don't be afraid of your supervisors. Don't be afraid of your fellow airmen. Uh, reach out and seek help that you need. Nobody's going to judge you. The stories you just heard are stories of airmen strengthening their spiritual fitness. Spiritual fitness is one of the four pillars of the Comprehensive Airman Fitness Program. It's the idea of simply strengthening the things that bring purpose and meaning to your life. It's going to look different for you than it did for the people in our stories today. But ask yourself, 
What brings purpose and meaning to my life? What gives me hope when life is difficult? And what can I do on a regular basis to strengthen that hope, to see me through life's difficult moments? And whether you're deployed or at home, know that there's a chaplain nearby, a wingman and a friend, ready to help you through your times of need. Spiritual resiliency or spiritual fitness. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, we got, we got the word. We got the word. We got the word, we can splice that. Okay. The stories you're gonna hear today are real airmen with real stories. The stories they share today are their stories. And stories they hope will encourage you to... Mm -hmm. Maybe a few less stories. <laughs> <laughs> Lou Holtz once said, it's not the way you carry the load that breaks you, no. The wind is gonna blow. Trials and temptations and airplanes will fly around <laughs> while you're trying to talk and sing. It never fails every time we get to the top.